Can you hear me? Okay, this will be a video for Aquarius. It may resonate with you if you happen to have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross-watching for an Aquarius. All message may not apply to everyone listening. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's get it. Aquarius Nation. Oh, I almost forgot the channel messages. If you'd rather bypass this part of the reading, um, and you fast forward a little bit or wait till I get there if you're watching this live. All right. The channel messages begin now. Villa, vanilla. Help us, Dad. Sound effects. Pig. Make better choices. Why so jealous? A Leo is spotlighted in this reading, so I'm definitely picking up Leo. You might have Leo placements, or there is a Leo that's in your energy over these next seven days. It could be coming in in the near future. Surrounded by zombies, spiders, the name George, Princess Lucy, enemy spotted, Plan B, plant grow big and strong, pancake lovers, holy water, pomegranate, Mr. Brown, the names Alex, Michael, Christina, and Jones, James, Delilah, David, Monroe, Rav4, Giraffe, Hummingbird, Pumpkins. Someone could be named after a city such as London, Paris, or Milan, something like this. Insecurities on display. Turn your ideas into accomplishments. Backpack, nudge slash smudge, spinal tap, the name Ortega, junk haul removal service, a Walmart, chicken giblets slash gizzard, and buzzard. Random messages, some may resonate, leave it, let it go if it doesn't. As soon as I part the deck, the star, that's you. You're spotlighted in your own reading, Aquarius. No doubt, Nine of Pentacles as soon as I part the deck. Prince of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Welcome to Mercury Retrograde, Aquarius. So this means that you might have some issues, some glitches with technology. For example, you might be sending an email, maybe that email doesn't show up, or your phone doesn't work, or whatever. A mechanism might stick. It could be something like this. You might be having some issues with your laptop, the hardware, something um, as far as your electronics might be, um, you, there might be a dysfunction, or a malfunction, I should say. Careful not to get too frustrated, Aquarius, but it just feels like there's some type of a blockage that could be coming your way. This could be something that's external from your situation. Not all of it is Mercury retrograde. This, it always shows up. It's inevitable that it shows up in the Aquarius reading, but somebody's trying to block or hinder Aquarius. Not for all Aquariuses, but it might be for some. Be sure this week, Aquarius Nation, to be clear about what your needs are. It seems like uh, communication could be ineffective in some type of way as well. Maybe you could feel like technology is passing you by. Maybe for some of you, you might want to take, um, kind of become more computer savvy. Let's see. The Hierophant in the reading that did say a Leo. It's definitely a Leo that shows up in your reading. Your child could be a Leo. Somebody wants more contact with you, Aquarius, or cross-watcher. And I do feel like there could be someone this week that could be invading your personal... Yeah, like your, your privacy is being infringed upon. Somebody is all up in your business this week. This week you might wish for more solitude. Because it just feels like Aquarius, you've been having... You or someone that you're dealing with or in communication with this week, regardless of your, if you're in communication with this person, you or someone around you this week, okay? It seems like somebody's really, there. there's a lot on your plate. And it looks like you're really trying to 
run to keep up with the pace to make sure that everything stays afloat. Someone around you this week could be suffering from insecurity or low self-esteem. This is definitely a week where you wanted to really nurture your gifts, Aquarius. Something might be coming alive within you as far as your gifts are concerned. Or you could be discovering some type of hidden potential you have about something. Let's see, yeah. You might need to get some more sleep. It seems like you're really exhausted this week, Aquarius Nation. You have a lot on your mind. I do feel like you might need some time to yourself to really think, maybe plan ahead. You might get some contact from a Libra or possibly a Scorpio. So this Prince of Cups could no doubt be a Scorpio. You also have a Gemini, a Sagittarius. That are, you got a lot of different signs that are popping up in your reading. These might be people you live with, people that you work with. This could be a mixture of some signs that maybe you might be coming across. This could be your energy or theirs. Well, you do come up as the overall energy of your reading Aquarius station. So does money. So it could be that there could be some type of new opportunity that could be opening up for you. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing the words, first you get the money, then you get the power. I don't know what this is about, but I hear that vividly in my mental space. Maybe there's some type of goal that you have. Like I did say some type of opportunity strikes this week. And if you capitalize on it, Aquarius, it looks like it, has, it gives you this opportunity to get out of this eight of swords situation. Or maybe you feel stuck. Or you feel like you don't know where to turn with regard to something that you've been thinking about for the longest time. In your environment this week, Ten of Swords, I did mention the sun. Definitely a lot of emphasis on a Leo. Leo and Cancer. Since these come after the Ten of Swords. Since these signs come after the Ten of Swords, these people... That you could have a Cancer enemy, a Leo and enemy. You have the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this leads me to believe that maybe somebody that doesn't like you or is trying to block you or stop you in some type of way may have Cancer or Leo in their chart. But in your environment, it looks like you have some type of goal in mind. Like I said, it feels like it's a financial goal. And it seems like somebody really wants you to be stuck. And they might be really trying to sabotage some type of effort that you're making. Holy Spirit, show me what you have for the Aquarius Nation. What is the Seven of Swords about? Okay. I mentioned it. Gossip. You have people in your business. Stories are being told about you. Let's look into it, Aquarius Nation or Crosswatcher. What's going on? Oh, okay. So here's the woman. Channel message with Spider. So confirmation of what I just talked about with this Ten of Swords. Maybe you work in a female-dominated industry, possibly. Or, like I said, this is a female individual that may have Leo or Cancer in their chart. Somebody might have bad intentions for you. What are they trying to do? They're telling stories for a reason. Oh, we already established that. It comes up multiple times, Aquarius. You have Ten of Swords not once, but twice. Nope. There's three times. No, you have it twice here. Somebody's trying to sabotage your plans, your goals. And here she comes again. Queen of Cups. And she's probably watching this reading right now. Let's see. Somebody with mental illness. Let's see, it's not me that says it, it's, it's right here on the card, you see that? Mental illness. Let's see, Let's see what's really going on with the, so it seems like I mentioned surrounded by zombies, so Aquarius, it seems like it's that type of week. You might be surrounded by individuals, like I said, that are trying to stop or hinder your success. Seven of Swords is here, so it's what I mean. People could be lying, trying to plagiarize in some type of way. You also, I mentioned Sagittarius. Let's see, let's get into this. Aquarius Nation. This 
week is going to offer some decisive moments. It seems like you're going to be making some decisions, Aquarius Nation, and you might be have there, there might be haste in order to make these decisions. These decisions that you might be making, you might feel like you're not really confident about the, the direction that you're taking or whatever this is. I'm not sure why you're lacking confidence with making a particular decision. Okay, you've been procrastinating on some things, Aquarius Nation. If that's you, that has been you, and you've let something fall on the back burner, definitely capitalize on something. It looks like something has the ability to really turn around for you, Aquarius Nation. You got the devil in your reading as well. So there could be a Capricorn. But this might be explaining why this se the Seven of Swords is here. Like you're going through a lot you have a lot of positivity coming in so if this is you going through something aquarius or you've been going through something for the longest time you have seven of swords once again if you have been going through something for a while aquarius it seems like your guys are trying to get you to hold on you you're going to get through whatever this is that you've been going through aquarius it just seems like it's going to take you to shift your mindset. This is what's in your mental space this week. It's going to take you to shift your mindset to really maybe usher some, usher these suggestions and ideas in. Because they're definitely being provided to you through your spirit guides. They're giving you a lot of, so you might have a flood of ideas. You might be channeling a lot of messages, but there's definitely some direct downloads. You got a bridge in the background, like your guys are helping you bridge the gap in some type of way. Either way, I feel like you're gonna. This is a, a week of um, making plans. Okay, you could be making plans to travel, but I definitely feel like wherever you are right now, something is about to move. I've promise you there's a Leo. There's like an overwhelming energy of a Leo and a Gemini in your reading. So this could be the individual that's coming in. For some of you, you're having issues with family members and there could be someone on the outside. Um, you know how a conversation consists of two people? Usually. It seems, and I say that to say this, that it seems like there's a third person interjecting and in maybe a conversation that you're having with your child, or you feel like there's someone that's trying to come in between you and your child or another family member, or this is someone that you're in a relationship with. This may be involving a Leo, or this is a Leo doing this. For some of you, if this is a love relationship, your guides are letting you know that, yes, no doubt about it. This is why the Seven of Swords and the Devil come up several times. It's because you're in a third-party situation. And I don't think that this comes as a surprise to you, Aquarius Nation. Though for some of you, maybe it does. For some of you, maybe you don't want to see that. Maybe it, it's too much to bear. Or you have seen it, and this is the week that you bounce back from it. I think this may have been something that's been on your mind for the longest. Because it seems like something's been on your mind. This could be like a twin flame connection. And this could be somebody waking up to what this connection really means to them. Maybe now they're trying, they're kind of ready or willing to understand who you genuinely are in, in this lifetime. And maybe this individual would like to share with you their true feelings. Or for some of you, this is um, being done with a child. Okay, because parents' parental roles are being highlighted in this situation. Some of you could have been high of raised by an absentee parent, or you're trying to co-parent with someone that you might feel is not around. But there's definitely a father and child dynamic highlighted in this reading. So there may be a need to really open Guess to be approachable, to really open the door and make sure that a child has the ability to say what they really want to say because it feels like there's a child that's really going through it and they're putting on a facade. They might be acting like everything is all good on surface level, but deep down inside, it really feels like somebody's going through a lot of Aquarius Nation. So this is something that resonates with you, 
like I said, maybe you want to talk to a child, or this is a father coming to visit a child. Or this might be something that's on your mind. Maybe you wish that a father figure would step up more. When it comes to relationships, okay, I guess that's what we were talking about, romantic relationships. Seems like things have been kind of complicated between you and someone for a period of time. For those of you who are going through this this week, you're in the thick of it, it seems like you're getting out of this or you're strongly considering leaving a relationship behind, whether it's romantic or platonic, because it just seems like something is really complicated. And maybe, you know, right now, maybe you feel like something is really not really worth your time. Something this week might trigger somebody to leave a situation. I definitely see someone walking away from something in particular. For some of you, this could be a musical talent that you have. Maybe you've decided to maybe back off of a gift that you have. You might be picking that up this week. Aquarius Nation. Let's see, who is this individual that's moving in your direction? This is a reconciliation. Some of you are reconciliating, reconciliating, reconciling rather with someone, um, I guess, Leo or Cancer. Yes, there's definitely a Leo. Somebody could have a flower name. Rose, Lily, Violet, Chrysanthemum. I don't know. This is, it seems like somebody is really happy to see you, overjoyed to see you. Okay, so it seems like this could be, maybe you could be sharing your good news with someone, or this could be someone that's really overjoyed to really, it doesn't have to be connected to work, but I do see this. I see a lot of connection to children. So you could work with children. You might be surrounded by children. You might have family over this week. Somebody is definitely trying to meet up with you. Okay, so there's some type of a meeting. There could be a discussion about a get together or a meeting, but it seems like this really does take place. Whatever this meeting does, um, the results of this meeting is a positive outcome. So if this is maybe a job opportunity, Aquarius Nation, something that um, brings you in the spotlight in some type of way, the answer is, is yes. You have an affirmative answer to something here. Where whatever this was, maybe you've been struggling with something in particular. What it, let's see what this is about. What's really been going on? Because I see you breaking bread with someone. I see uh, some positivity coming in for you. Oh, this feels like this is somebody that might be trying to make things more difficult for you, Aquarius. This feels like this is an outside person. But this could also be you with you being the Eight of Swords in the reading. Let's see. Uh, let me look into this. I'm just curious. What is this Ten of Wands about? Yes. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Didn't I say a Leo? Spotlight is on a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And here's Snake Yana. And that's what I'm going to call her. You see the snake right here? I promise you. Okay, this is the reason behind this. For some of you, someone in particular, this is somebody that's thirsty for chaos. Aquarius Nation. Yes, thank you, Spirit Guides, creating more challenges for you. This is why this Ten of Wands is here. This is what is clarifying the Ten of Wands. You got an Aries as well that's highlighted in the reading, as well as the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini, and as soon as I say that, opposition. So, as usual, you got somebody that is possibly lighting candles on you, Aquarius. Isn't that the same every reading? I won't wish for the readings to turn out like this, but I'm going to report to you whatever I see. Like I said, take what applies and leave the rest. The initials or the letters B, G, or W could hold some type of relevance in your situation. Ten of Swords, once again. This is the third time Ten of Swords shows up. This is what I'm trying to say. This is you. Six of Wands. This is someone trying to ruin that. And we've already identified that it would be this jealous individual here. 
this could be either comes to the house of God, the tower. So this is what I mean. And this is why it's kind of laughable at this point. It's like Aquarius, somebody keeps going out of their way to try to ruin you in some type of way, frustrate your efforts in some type of way, make things more difficult for you What? because you are the Six of Wands. You may not see yourself this way yet, Aquarius Nation, but things may be about to shift. As I did say, something may take a mental shift for you. My point is, though, Aquarius, your spirit guides are stepping in. So this is like a fruitless effort that these people continuously and persistently put in to try to stop you. Or this is an Aquarius that might possibly be doing this to someone. For some of you, this is a family member that's doing it. We mentioned a father figure. Somebody is coming in, Aquarius, to speak to you. I did mention um, something about a meeting. I think that this may have something to do with employment. But there is a coming together between you and someone in particular. Someone has plans to maybe come and talk to you about some things. There could be some, um, some issues that could be confronted. But it seems like someone feels like something needs to take, somebody needs to take charge of a particular situation because it seems like something's not being discussed. It seems like something's being avoided or it's being swept under the rug and someone may need to step up and be the one to talk about something. Something is a relevant topic this week. So it may have something to do with the Sagittarius. When it comes to your finances, it seems like there is a positive change. Let's talk about it. Okay, job opportunities. Maybe that's what this 10 of wands is. Maybe for some of you Aquarians, there's been some difficulties with, is this with your money? Let's see what this is about. That's related to just your finances. Yes, thank you, spirit guides. Opportunities. And yeah, there is someone trying to infringe on your energy. I do see that. But I do see opportunities that are coming in. I think that what you've gone through for the longest, I think this is somebody trying to stop you. I think this is why you come across. You come up as the Eight of Swords, but you're also the star in your reading. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck, bind you. What is this about, Holy Spirit? I'm stuck on this. Temporary obstacles as soon as I pick up the deck. I think this has been an ongoing thing, Aquarius. This, this is what the reading is telling me. This has been something that has been affecting kids. Or this is someone making accusations. And I did say somebody is running their mouth about you. Accusations are being made. And you are not guilty of these accusations. This could be something that might be going on in court. The bottom decrease. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is why you're the Eight of Swords. And possibly why money is the overall energy for you this week. There's been a decrease. I think that this is. This confirms this Ten of Wands. There's been some type of a decrease. This week it seems like you're learning from the past and there is some type of growth. If you can take what you've learned from past experiences and situations and use those things to your advantage instead of using those things to trigger you going into a depressed state about maybe some things that have happened to you in the past you okay are the one that brings positive change you're the one that initiates this this positive change in your life so someone has tried to keep you stuck and what i'm trying to say is that your spirit guides come in and counteract that energy it doesn't matter how hard these people try aquarius nation it will not work because you come out as the Six of Wands. Like I said, you come out of the Eight of Swords and you become the Six of Wands in a particular situation. Are you dehydrated? Aquarius? We're going to come back to that in a minute. Okay. Where was I? Opportunities. There's an offer that's on the table this week. For some of you, this could be, you could be putting in an offer for a home, a house. Maybe you've been house hunting and I'm looking for a particular deck of city looking away. 
you might be house hunting or there's a job that maybe you're in line for Aquarius and it looks like your offer is accepted or there's an offer that's extended as soon as I say that protection beneath that is children so I'm trying to tell you somebody might not just be sending this energy to you but might be sending this energy to children this is why your spirit guides have the tower for these individuals who also have justice. Trust me, believe me, it all works out in time. So if you haven't seen this kind of play out yet and you feel like this is your story and this energy has been lingering around for a while, trust and believe your spirit guides have this under control. But again, some of this falls on you. Protect your energy. Because we did have this card that came out that said energy. Out, four swords. Prayer, meditation, taking some time out to think, taking some time to receive downloads from your guides. Could be just a few suggestions on how to do that. But it just seems like this week you have so many different things coming at you, pelting you from left and right, Aquarius. It's going to be absolutely necessary to calm your energy. It seems like you've been panicky about something. You've got this panicky energy. Unless you just maybe have um, anxiety on a regular basis. This snake energy is at work. Ace of Pentacles once again. And here's this fire sign yet once again. Okay, you have two energies at work for some of you. You've got ten of wands. Once again, and you've got justice. Once again, okay. So at work, there might be some people that you see through. At least three people, two or three. Two of them are gonna make it really obvious, and a few of them are kind of hidden. But with the way that you come up in the reading, Aquarius Nation, I think that you are more than capable of seeing through certain individuals. Now, somebody doesn't three of swords at the bottom now. Somebody does not expect you to stand up for yourself. In whatever way this is, if this has something to do with some type of spiritual exchange of energy, because let's make it clear, somebody is a manipulator in this situation. They may manipulate energy as soon as I brought the deck seven of swords. You have repeating cards, and this is my point. This has been going on for a prolonged period of time for some of you. Either way, keep your eyes peeled for these individuals. But like I said, for some of you, it's obvious. Some people may feel like they have other people fooled. Aquarius, this is going on online, in public something of this sort something is going on in front of other people i see that for sure there's a leo that shows up in the spread as well as the virgo leo and virgo always show up to a reading together so that's what i'm seeing the outcome is the nine of pentacles like i did say there's some type of an offer that comes your way i did say that somebody is coming into your energy you could be reconciling with someone in particular for some of you this is more than one person you could be reconciling with Someone might be coming to your home, Aquarius Nation, coming to see you. Let's see what this, what kind of energy this person is bringing. This could be someone with water in their chart. Maybe you're going to the water. Maybe you're going swimming. Maybe you're going to the pool or the ocean. Okay, so maybe this is a twin flame. Seems like there's a coming together. What's their intention? The way that you're looking at this individual is that you don't trust them. The star, once again. Hello again. Recycle. So this is what I mean. You're coming back in contact with possibly a twin flame. This is who's coming into your energy. And what's highlighted here is it for this would be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. see this not and you see this here what's around you and not i think somebody is doing some type of binding spell on you somebody wants you to be stuck in whatever way what is this about okay so somebody is coming back into your energy 
Aquarius. Mountains, obstacles. We talked about that. You're going on some type of a road trip, I feel. Random side note. Kind of see what this person is bringing to the table. Evil eye protection. Mentioned something is happening. On, did I say online? I did. Especially if you work online. Protect your energy. You might need to stop and get directions. Random side note, Aquarius. Somebody's stability may have fallen off, Aquarius. That could be why someone is coming to you. The devil. Capricorn is highlighted here. You might be on the cusp. It seems like you might be sorting something out with this person. Settling some type of past conflict. Or getting on the same page with this person. It just seems like you guys clash in some type of way. Or you don't agree on something. In, and you haven't agreed about something in the past. Possibly surrounding a child. They want to start over with you, it looks like. Aquarius Nation or Cross Watcher. You have two of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you could be putting your money together to purchase something for a child in particular. But there's definitely communication that comes in with this particular situation. This feels like this is someone that you haven't seen, talked to in a minute. They're on your mind heavily or vice versa. And somebody's definitely making this plan. They may or may not come in this week, but this is definitely spotlight on a Virgo. I did say Earth sign, Virgo and Capricorn in particular, but you also have Taurus, the Hierophant. So these are the individuals that are dominating your reading. You could get a visit. Someone could be visiting you. Someone could be communicating with you to maybe come and see them. But there's definitely communication that happens back and forth between you and possibly a Scorpio or somebody that has a Scorpio moon. Anything else, Aquarius, uh, for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? You're going to have a lot on your plate, Aquarius Nation. It's going to be necessary for you to multitask. Okay, You might be doing more than one thing at once. It's going to be a hectic week for you. So there'll be some people that might be trying you, okay? They're going to be saying some things that they might feel are, I don't know, critiques of you. Your guides are encouraging you not to take it personally. Because it seems like you've got some judgmental people in your energy this week. One of them is daring, very daring. They're going to say something to you. <sighs> Somebody feels like they're met, like this is meant to be. You were meant to cross paths with this person. You may be able to recover the situation with this person. And now I notice that recover is at the bottom of this card. I think this might be the case if there has been something that has been going on with you in the past regarding money. This is the week. If you capitalize on the opportunity, Aquarius Nation, it feels like you're able to recover or bounce back from something. Also feeling that this may have something to do with health, which I'll get to in a minute. King of Pentacles. Here's your earth sign again. All right. So I think that you have this card that says increase. First we saw decrease. Now we see increase. It seems like you have an opportunity that definitely comes in this week. This could grow your finances. Be careful about who you share particular financial information with Aquarius Nation. Not everyone around you is good people, especially not with the seven of swords and the devil. When it comes to your spirituality, you might be guided to go toward a particular spiritual path. You're a healer in some type of way, or you're calling on your spirit guides and your angels for assistance, and they definitely come through this week. Some of you, you have a gift of writing. So I did say a card that says stories. Maybe you are. You could be doing something on social media, possibly. Maybe this is how you communicate or convey a message. But for some of you, maybe you're writing a book. It seems like you have a creative type of energy within you, Aquarius Nation. And I think this is where you shine. This is where the Six of Swords may Six of Swords, I'm sorry, Six of Wands. This is where you succeed. This is this is your, your lane, Aquarius Nation. For some of you, you're very creative. You could be selling products online, possibly. You're opening up another stream of income. 
you could be starting part-time and then you might branch off into doing something full-time. I see that going on for you. Some of you, you might be thinking about terminating. There could be a job termination. This could be why you got these enemies here. This could be somebody trying to get you fired. Could then ruin you in some type of way, some type of financial ruin, out of jealousy. I'm also seeing that with this money flowing in, I got the same thing for Sagittarius. Some of you might have Sag in your chart, or there might be a Sagittarius in your household. You might have an opportunity to pay off some debts. Okay. Or that might be what you decide to do with um, this money that's this flowing in. Some of you work in construction. I don't know if you hear that. That's my dog. She's um, she's snoring. Some of you, this court situation has something to do with a, di a divorce. It's finalized. You get a message of that this week. That your your that your divorce is final. Or you're waiting, somebody might be waiting to hear from somebody, like somebody that they're romantically involved with. They're waiting for their divorce to be final so that they can move forward and have a relationship without there being a third person tethered to it. Anything else, Aquarius, that uh, Holy Spirit, that, uh, that, that is relevant for the zodiac sign of Aquarius? Detached from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut out any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation. I did say Aquarius Nation, something has you feeling panicked, has you feeling alarmed. It could be that maybe you're giving too much energy to a particular situation, feeding you way too much energy that it's deserving of. And your guys are saying, try a different route. Instead, maybe detach from this particular situation. Aquarius Nation, Holy Spirit, the advice. Explore your options. This is definitely what I feel is the case when it comes to money, finances. You could possibly be in a line of work, Aquarius, and it might be the end of the line for you. It may be necessarily may be necessary for you to maybe get out there and see what's a good fit for you because because of the fact that you're detaching or cutting off a particular situation severing ties with something something else might be better out there for you and i think this week you might be deciding to step into it your home is protected by angels i think we talked about that, that your angels are definitely coming in to help you with something. They're assisting you with something. Um, they might be sending this energy to your home in, partic in particular. Can I just see that? I did. That's where this is going. Somebody is, okay, So, but your guys are saying your home is protected by angels. Sending it to your door, sending it to your home. Stability is at the bottom. This card happens to be in reverse. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. Maybe that's what's on your mind this week. Maybe rent, mortgage, or taxes, you buy behind in your taxes, Aquarius Nation, because this is the overall energy. And I think this is what someone has gone out of their way to try to impact or try to get you stuck in some type of way. Keep your eyes targeted. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or any doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. This is precisely what we've been talking about. Just now, we just talked about that, exploring your options. Your guides are saying stay focused because there's definitely energy out there of individuals that are trying to knock you off of your path and your particular purpose that your guides are trying to align you with. Or for some of you, you're already aligned with what you're meant to be doing. I feel that. And so stay focused, Aquarius Nation. That this concludes your 
seven day forecast with angelic ascensions thought it was helpful thumbs up this video aquarius nation consider subscribing if you already have it i will see y'all in the next seven days aqua nation peace out